Hey guys, I'm Joe. I'm here because I'm have a little problem. We moved in about four years ago, so we're talking to what, 2012. So the landlord does not have no concern about the place. He has a business that was handed down by daddy. Not that he's earned this job. And he does not care two shits about the house, the noise, whatever it may be that needs needed to be fixed. Does not care. He keeps saying next month, next month, next month. So I do not want to call the law to be a, excuse my words, a prick. But he's left me no alternative. So we have to deal with the carpet or the floor needs to be changed no matter what needs to be done. He knows it. Then we have to worry about the kitchen. The sink is a big fucking leak. And he has to avoid fixing, but a quick fix. He said to spend three grand, get it fixed early instead of waiting until it's Niagara Falls and then spend 10 grand like a dummy. I don't get people. Really, I don't. I think people are just completely retarded. There's no sense in this world. Other people just don't get it. And then you gotta live with these people and tolerate them. It's like a comedy, it is. You try to make sense of things, it just does not make sense. So I have a few issues here, people. I have a cat sitting under the branch I've been taking care of for about at least two years. This is the second winter he's been with me. When I found him, he was basically a skeleton. A set of skin on him. You know how he was alive. He's at least seven, eight years old. He's a trooper. That's the final words for that guy. So when I first met him, I convinced him with a can of cat food. It was for me to rather than dry. He didn't even care who I was, what I was. He ate that thing, he demolished it. He ate half a can. We're talking about this big of a can, at least more than a half liter of beef. And after more, absolutely. This is about October. So he was ready for the winter. So I also under my veranda, which has about a two foot encampment with just the opening, but he had ease underneath. I made a hole for him with cushions and pillows so he was blocked from the, the wind chill. I also put a tarp. But the neighbor downstairs thinks he's the boss. He's a real freaking retarded man. He's the type of guy that you hear in the news that person downstairs kills guy upstairs. That's the type of guy he is. You just don't know. He's weird. He gives you the creeps. He's a psycho. He's a freak. And these are the most disrespectful people. So wake up at 5 a.m. The mother and the daughter. No courtesy whatsoever. They will not politely walk. They will stomp their feet like they're trying to sledgehammer the freaking floors. Believe me, I get back at them now. And when they bounce and bang, go screw yourself.